we're gonna get started. So good afternoon, guys. I am back. It is Tuesday, which means it is time for our sign language lesson today. So the first thing I wanna do when we get started is I wanna see, do I have anyone super brave that would wanna come up and try to have a very short conversation with me in sign language, just using the signs that we've learned so far? Is anyone brave and wanna try it? I see one friend at Brunson in the back in the gym. You wanna come on up to the, to the computer so I can see you? Come on up, my dear. Hello. All right, I'm excited. So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna sign to her and I'm gonna see if she can sign back to me. But you guys, I wanna see if you can understand what the two of us are signing to each other. All right, are we ready? Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna start signing to you and you just respond back with whatever I'm asking you, okay? Awesome. Give her some applause in sign language, guys. She did great. So that was awesome. You can take a seat, love. You did fantastic. So I asked her what her name was. She fingerspelled her name beautifully, and she asked me how I was. I then said I was happy, and I asked how she was. She said she was fine. How cool is that, that we can have a conversation just by learning sign language for like two days? I think that's awesome. So you guys keep practicing those because we're going to keep doing that and adding more and more things that we're going to learn every day. Does that sound like a good idea? Thumbs up. Oh, yes. All right. So now today, guys, I know at the end of last lesson, we started learning some colors. Um, so I want to go over those. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I told y'all I was not an expert. And I can admit when I messed up and I taught you a couple of those wrong. I'm sorry. But we're going to learn them the right way today. And then we're going to play a little game with our colors. Sound good? Okay, cool. So we're going to start by going over colors. So the first colors, I kind of think about them split into two different categories. We've got our colors that use the letter and we do the shaking. So for instance, blue was one that we learned yesterday or last week. Blue starts with the letter B and it goes out to the side and just shakes. Okay, we learned that one. That one was easy. We also learned another one that's like that. An example of that one would be yellow. So yellow, because it starts with a Y, is the Y. So everyone's showing me the Y. And it does the same shaking motion. Awesome. Okay. So we've got blue. We've got yellow. We also have green that does that same motion. So green is a G. Looks like this. And it shakes. So blue, yellow, green. And the last one is purple. Purple uses the P. So this is our P sign and it shakes, okay? So those four are the ones that I kind of think about in my brain as our shaking ones with their, with their letters, okay? We also have another category of colors that kind of deals with our face. So right here, this area. So for instance, we learned the sign for black. Does anyone remember what that one was? Yes, good job guys. We take our finger right across the forehead. This is black, okay? Another color, that is right on the face is red. Red is similar to black, but it's down at your chin. So you take that same finger on the chin and you just flick it down, okay? I think about if I get red spaghetti sauce on my face, which I do, because I'm a very messy eater, you just flick it off. This is red, okay? Pink is kind of like red. Pink is just like light red. So it has the same kind of spot, but instead of doing it with a finger, which is red, we use the letter P. So remember our P for pink? You put your middle finger on your chin and you flick kind of like red. Good, you guys are doing great. 
We're also gonna stay in the face region, um, the sign for brown. So brown starts with a B. You guys show me the letter B. Yep, B. And remember, this was blue, but now we're talking about brown. Brown comes to the side of our face and just goes down like this. Brown. Good job. The next one that we didn't learn last week is tan. Tan, kind of like pink and red, um, tan is just a light brown. So it does the same kind of motion, but it uses the letter T. The letter T down the face. This is tan. Cool. So we've got our shaking colors. We've got the ones that use our face. And then there are two colors that we haven't done yet. That is white and gray. And those ones happen around your chest. So if you wanted to say the, the sign for white, you take your hand, put it right on your chest, and you pull out. So you're just pulling out, this is white. Gray is our last sign that we didn't learn last week. Gray is really just a mixture of white and black. So we take our two hands, face them in toward yourself, and put them together, and you just mix. This is gray. You guys look awesome. You guys look so good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through those one more time and then I'm gonna test your skills, okay? So what is this, let's see, let's start with red. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, black, brown, tan, pink, white, and last is gray. Awesome, y'all did so good. So now I'm gonna hold up an item and what I want you guys to do is do the sign of that color. We got it? Give me, a, I understand. Okay, here we go. Let's start with this one. Let me see what you guys think this color is. Blue, very good. All right, what about this apple? Green, good job, guys. What about this box of pudding? Yellow, good job guys. What about this weird thing I found in my cabinet? Pink, very good. What about this tissue? White, awesome, you guys are doing great. What about this thing. Brown, oh, you guys are killing it. What about this pepper? Orange, you're right, it's a little bit of yellow. It's orange and yellow kind of combined. And let's see, what about another one of these weird things I found in my cabinet? Purple, good, that P, good job. And last thing I found in my kitchen, this ladle. What color is this? Black, good job guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. Good, all right, now we're gonna play a quick game. So I need everyone to be on their bottoms. I'm gonna give you a color in sign language. And what you have to do is you have to look at your outfit and see, are you wearing anything that's that color? If you are, you have to stand up and I want you to point at whatever part of your outfit is that color. It can be your shoes, your pants, your shirt, your headband, anything, as long as it's the right color. So for example, if I gave this sign for gray, I would stand up and I'd point at my shirt because my shirt is gray. Do we all understand? Okay, so let's do the first one. The first one is Good. I see someone pointing at their blue jeans. Someone's got a blue shirt on. Good job, guys. Everyone sit back down. Great job. 
All right, let's see. What about if I give you this color? Yeah, I see my friend stand up in the green. Very good. Good job. Well done, guys. All right, the next color I'm going to give you is this color. Yep, awesome. I see at Piney Grove, we got an orange shirt, a little bit of orange in the middle of some. Very good. All right, sit back down, guys. Let's see. Oh, man, I want to trick you, but you guys are doing so good. Okay. All right. I think I have it. What about this color? A lot of people are pointing at their shoes, and they are exactly right. Those are black. Good job, guys. All right. One last color. I want to make it a hard one, but you guys are doing so good. Okay. Let's see. The last one I'm gonna do hmm, is this one. All right, make sure you point to that color. Oh, so good. You guys are great. I see a lot of white shirts and you guys are absolutely right. You guys give yourselves a round of applause. Woo, y'all did awesome. All right, go ahead and take a seat. So, I think you guys have rocked out colors because you got every single one of those right, which I am such a fan of. So the next thing that we are going to learn, so we've learned our colors, we've learned some of our feelings, how to say, um, how we respond to if someone asks, how are we? We learned happy, sad, things like that. Today, we're going to learn about family, okay? So what that means is we're going to learn how to do the signs for all of our different family members. But what you might want to say is if you say, I have, let's say if you want to say, I have two sisters, okay? The sign for I have, and this is with anything, I have a cookie for lunch, I have a dog at my house. The sign for I have is you take your two hands, you kind of bend them in toward you like, like claws a little bit, and you put them right here at your shoulders, okay? So I have, okay? I have. Perfect. So sometimes I might ask you how many sisters you have. You would say, I have, and then you would sign how many sisters, which we're going to learn. Okay. So we're going to learn family. So can you guys show me the sign for the letter F? This family starts with an F. Yes, I see a friend at Brunson. Perfect. This is the sign for family. Good job. So the sign for family is we take two hands, both doing the F sign, put them together. And right at your chest, you're going to bring them toward you and go out, kind of making a little semicircle. Family. Family. Good job. You guys did great. Okay. Next up, when we're talking about family members, our family members kind of fall into two categories um, for the most part. So we've got boy family members and girl family members. So let's learn the signs for those. So the sign for boy is you think about having like a ball cap because boys like to wear baseball caps you just grab your ball cap so this is a sign for boy okay on the other hand we've got the sign for girl the sign for girl we take our hand like this kind of like the letter a and our thumb just brushes down our cheek this is the sign for girl good job so let me see boy good what about girl uh huh. What about family? Very good. You guys are doing awesome. Okay. So when we're talking about our family members, like I said, it, boy signs like dad and brother. And uh, if you have a boy cousin, all those signs happen on the top of your face. So kind of up here on your forehead. Okay. If you're doing the signs for girls, so like your aunt, your sister, your mom, those happen down below your eyes. They happen down here, usually on your cheek and your chin. So if you're ever trying to figure out, oh, I can't remember which one it is, remember the boys happen up here on the top of our head and the girls happen below. So let's start with, I think, two of the most awesome people that I have in my life, mom and dad, okay? 
The sign for mom, you just take your hand out like this. And again, for our girl signs, they're down at the bottom of our face. You just put it at your chin, just like this. So this is a sign for mom. Okay. On the flip side, the sign for dad, same thing. Take your hand with your thumb and it goes up here to your head. So dad and mom. Mom, dad, dad, mom. Okay. Pretty easy, right? Those are easy as long as you remember top versus bottom. Okay. I know some of us have stepmoms and stepdads who are also super important in our life. So we're gonna learn the signs for those. So rather than having your whole hand touch your fa face, like here, for mom, we're just gonna do one finger and a thumb. So put it right here and you just kind of tweak your finger. So this is stepmom and this is stepdad. Stepmom, stepdad. So you might have living in your house, maybe a dad and a stepmom. There's lots of different ways that families can be made up. So we're gonna learn a bunch of different signs so you can explain your family. Okay, cool. If I wanted to say my parents, okay, there's not a sign that's specifically for parents. All you do is you say, so that all you're saying is my dad and my mom. So you're just putting them together. There's no extra sign that says parent. Okay. So who, raise your hand if you have a brother. Keep your hand up if your brother drives you crazy. Almost everyone. Okay, so we're gonna learn the sign for brother. So the sign for brother, again, is a boy sign. So they're gonna happen, it's gonna happen at the top of your head. And what we're gonna do is take your hands and make two L's, kind of similar to stepmom and stepdad. One of those L's, so on your dominant hand, your dominant hand, so most of you guys, it's your right hand, is gonna go up here to your head. Okay, so this, your other one is gonna go down at your chest, kind of like right here. So brother, you go from your head and you land on your other hand, so they kind of lock in, okay? So head and down is brother, okay? On the flip side, sister, where do we think sister's happening on our face? Uh-huh, exactly, here. And down. Here and down. Sister, you guys are doing awesome. Okay, we've only got like a couple more of these and you guys will know all of them. Okay, who has some awesome grandparents? Awesome. Well, I know in spoken language and English, people call their grand who's got a weird name for their grandma or their grandpa? I just call mine grandpa and grandma. I've got a friend at Brunson in the very front. What's a weird name that you call your grandma or grandpa? Love it. That is cool. I've never heard that one. What about you at Piney Grove uh, in the white shirt in front? What do you call your grandma or grandpa? Yes, you. I call my Gigi and grandpa. I love it. What about you, friend? my friend in the orange at Morgan? Do you have a funny name for your grandparents? Um, I call my, Too loud. I call my, um, um, my grandpa, um, Uncle Jack. Cool. I like it. Very interesting. So like we said, there's a lot of different ways that we call our grandparents, but in sign language, we just kind of stick to the basics. So grandpa and grandma are very similar to mom and dad. They're mo our moms and dads, moms and dads. So they're kind of similar to the sign. So you guys, what's the sign for mom again? Does anyone remember the sign for mom? Perfect. The sign for grandma is just a mom that's been a mom for a long time. So you have this right here on your chin and you go out from your face. Grandma, grandma, okay? In the same idea, we've got grandpa. So what do we think grandpa looks like? Exactly, grandpa. Good, you guys are great. So we got mom, dad, grandpa, grandma, all those fun names you guys have for your grandparents. We also have some people, aunts and uncles. Raise your hand if you have some awesome aunts and uncles. Does anyone have a crazy uncle? Because I know I have a crazy uncle. His name's Uncle Rick and I love him. So now we're gonna learn the signs for aunt and uncle, okay? 
These ones are kind of like our colors, they use the letters. So this is a hard one. Does anyone remember what the U letter looks like? The letter U. Yes, I'm seeing it. It's right here. This is the sign for the letter U. And again, an uncle is a boy. So this sign is going to happen at the top of our face. We go right up here, kind of like right at your eyebrow, your temple, and you just spin in a circle. Uncle. Good. Ant is similar, the sign for ant starts with an A, ant or aunt or auntie, depending on how you call your aunt. And it's down here at our cheek and our chin, and you do a circle here, ant. So we've got our uncle and we've got our aunt, okay? With our uncle and aunt, a lot of times comes cousins, lots of cousins. And cousins can be boy cousins or girl cousins, but they're still always our cousins. So for those, we have the letter C for cousins. So let me see your letter C, good. If it's a boy cousin, again, up here, we just shake the letter C at the top of our head. This is your boy cousin. If it's a girl cousin, down here, girl cousin. You guys are doing great. You guys, I can't imagine you guys doing any better. All right, so let's see if I can test you real quick. And then I think we're gonna be done for today. All right, so raise your hand if you can tell me what the sign for mom is. Yes, my friends, all of us together in the gym at Brunson, what's the sign for mom? Beautiful, all right, Piney Grove, I need you guys to show me the sign for grandpa. Very good, very good. My friends at Brunson in the classroom, can you guys show me the sign for boy? Boy, yep, remember grabbing that baseball cap. Grab that baseball cap, there you go. That's a sign for boy, good job. My friends at Morgan, can you guys show me the sign for dad? Good, awesome, so good guys. So now that we know all of those different signs, if someone asks you about your family, remember you can say, I have, for me, I have a mom, and a dad, and I have one sister. Okay, does anyone want to come up and give us an example of their family? Yeah, at Morgan, let me pick someone at Morgan. Let's see, my friend in the blue shirt. Did you still wanna come up and show us what your family looks like? No? Any takers? My friend at Brunson in the gym, you look very confident in the blue tie-dye shirt. Do you want to come up and tell us what your family looks like? You can do it. You guys are doing so good. I'm very proud of you. So make sure we can see. You might have to bend down a little bit so we can see you. Okay. So remember, make sure you tell us that I have, and then go ahead and tell us your, mm -hmm, you have. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh. Good job. Awesome, everyone give her a round of applause. Good job. Oh, you guys have done great today. Um, before we go, do we have any questions? I know that we've kind of gone through a lot of stuff. And if your question is, hey, what's the sign for? I just want you to hold off on that because we're gonna learn more. But if you wanna know more family or more color, I will try to answer as best as I can. Um, I know we've got a question at the gym at Brunson. What is your question, my dear? How do you do the sign for step cousin? That's a really good question. And like I said, families can have a lot of different ways of being. There's not just a typical, this is how a family looks. So what I'm gonna tell you, I actually am gonna be honest, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna show you at the beginning of next session. Does that sound okay? Awesome, do we have any other questions? 
see. I've got one at Brunton in the classroom. Um, let's see. My friend in the blue shirt with the pink pants. Yeah, go ahead. What's your question? How do you say never in Chinese? How do you say never? Yeah, no. Oh, no. Numbers. That is a great question. And it's actually very easy to learn. How about you guys want to learn that next week? Yes. yes. Here's what I have on the agenda for next week. I was thinking that we would do numbers and maybe some animals, because I know some of you guys have animals in your family, maybe dogs, cats, birds. So I'm thinking that we're gonna do some numbers and animals. Very good. But those are good questions. So I'll get back to you about Step Cousin, and we're gonna learn some numbers and animals next week. So thank you guys so much for coming, and I will see you again next Tuesday to learn more and more sign language. Bye, guys. Bye.